Hello, welcome to another video. Today, I'm feeling particularly lazy. I knew I wanted to film this. I knew I wanted to sit down and get my camera out, but I didn't want to put mascara on. I have the rest of my makeup on. I just really didn't fancy putting mascara on. So just addressing that because like, that's a really small thing, but I was too lazy to do it. Mainly because I didn't want to take it off. So these are my bare eyelashes. <laughs> Anyway, that's besides the point. We are here today to do the whole trending thing of I'm gonna react to your assumptions about me. It's a bandwagon, it's been going around, I wanted to hop on it, so here I am. I asked for your assumptions on Twitter and on Instagram, so I'm gonna go through both of those and react as we go. I asked for the assumptions quite a while ago now so I have forgotten most of them. I'm pretty sure there were a couple that assumed I was a cat person but we'll get to them as we go. I did pin the tweet though so it's very easy for me to access. I'll be sure to unpin it after I've filmed this. Okay so as Twitter is the most easily accessible one we'll start with going through all of the tweets. So Nicole from A Beautiful Chaos said, you loved art in school. I was a creative person in school. I liked design tech in school more than I liked art because art in school always felt very structured, like you had to draw what you were told to draw. Whereas design tech had a bit more freedom in as long as you were using the media you were being taught about, you could design whatever you wanted. So I think I preferred design tech, but yes, I did like the creative subjects. Naomi from Tea Time with Naomi uh, said, you're left-handed. No, I am right-handed. You're a dog person. Yes, spoiler alert for all the people that say I'm a cat person. I'm a dog person. I have two dogs. I've got two beagles, Willow and Bella. You probably hear them a fair lot because they bark a lot. But yeah, I'm a dog person. You're an ENFP. I have no idea. I've got no idea what my personality type is. I've never found out, so I don't know. Maybe I should do that. Should I do that? Is it worth me investing my time to work out what I am? Because I have no idea. And you're a rather private person. It very much depends on the content. Like, if someone asks, I'm happy to tell. But if someone doesn't ask, I don't I'm, I don't feel it necessary to tell if people don't ask. Like, I don't just want to project. But if someone asks, I have no problem with telling pretty much anything. I'm not that private. I'm, I just don't project unless I'm asked to. Does that clarify that? <laughs> Gavin said, when you really want something, it will play on your mind and drive you wild until you get it. Sort of, yeah. I wouldn't say it will drive me wild, but when I know what I want, I will stop at nothing to get it. So I will work myself to the bone to achieve what it is I've set out to achieve. Yeah, I'm a very driven person when it comes to that. If I know what I want, I, I will keep going and keep going until I have it. But at the same time, I don't let that impact like the rest of my life. Like if it's something that I really want that I know I have to work at, but there's nothing I can really do about when it will happen. Like as long as I know I'm constantly working at it and we'll get there eventually, I wouldn't say it drives me wild. I just do constantly work towards it. Apologies if the lighting may have changed. I had to put my battery on charge because it started flashing. Um, so I stopped filming for a little while and let that charge. And now we're back. So just gonna go back in where I was. Gavin said, you're genuinely nice, but if someone crosses you and hurts your feelings, they're cancelled. Um, I would have to say that's true. I find it very easy to drop people. Um, like if, if someone does something that is really awful, I, I do find it very easy to drop them. You know how people have like drama with their friends and they're like, oh my god, I'm done. And like, you know they're not done. I very much am a done person. If someone, if I, like, if I say I'm done, I'm done. But it does have to be quite severe. Like I'm not gonna be over with someone over something little. But if someone genuinely, Gavin said crosses me and hurts my feelings. Like if someone hurts my feelings, they can be forgiven. But if someone does something like 
genuinely not okay, then I I will drop someone. It's not worth having people like that around, so yeah, I will. I will drop them. I won't, like, ruin their life. I wouldn't say they're, they're cancelled. I don't like cancelling people. Like, they can get on with their life. But I will cut them from mine. Uh, another one from Gavin. You probably get funny looks and judgement sometimes because you dye your hair because somehow that makes you an extraterrestrial. Yes. Not so much now because I... Well, I think because I'm older now and my hair... I tend to stick to the reds and the purples at the minute. Um, but when I was in high school, I went through many colours. I got in all sorts of trouble for it. Like, I, I was the kid where I dyed my hair bright blue um, and was taken to the head teacher's office and told, you know, you need to dye your hair because that's not acceptable. So I would dye it bright pink. <laughs> um, but I was still, like, a model student like I had bright blue hair but I was on the school council and my school council photo that was like up in the reception of the school was me with blue hair so like but yes I would get all sorts of funny looks um I would hear like the younger year kids in school like around me like oh she's the one that got in trouble for having blue hair yes also just out in public. It tends to be kids, but when you've got like blue hair or pink hair or whatever, kids do tend to be like, oh my god, mommy, look at her hair. And that's cute. But um, yes, funny looks do happen with the brighter colours, but not so much with the red. And on that note, I need to dye this because this is not an acceptable colour. Sasha from The Wild Sasha said, you don't like fancy tea? correct but prefer earl grey english breakfast etc i don't like earl grey i literally only like english breakfast tea that is the only tea i like i do not like these fancy ones nah -uh. i count earl grey as a fancy tea <laughs> english breakfast or nothing uh, you work in a bank i do not work in a bank but i do work in a financial services industry but not a bank. <laughs> you have a ton of soaps. Um, I'm a shower gel person more than a like barred soap person, uh, but I do have a lot of shower gel. Yes, I like my shower stuff. I like to be able to like alternate fragrances for how I feel that day. Like what colour shower gel do I want? And you prefer savoury food instead of sweet. I'm, I think I'm a pretty healthy mixture there. Like, ups and downs like sometimes I will really want chips sometimes I will really want chocolate I wouldn't say there's a dominant one I'm just very bit of both with that one uh Sikoria says that is her name <laughs> you sometimes feel like you do more for others than you ever get in return very much depends on the person with some people definitely but this kind of takes me back to the I will drop a person and if if there is not a balance there and I know it's not worth it, I will stop. I feel like I've got the right friends around me at the minute that will do the same for me as I do for them. Uh, but in the past, for sure. People hit on you a lot whenever you go out. Um, I don't go out very often, so I can't vouch for that. You like a little really sweet coffee. I don't like coffee at all. <laughs> Zoe said you were a really shy, quiet kid. Accurate. Yes, as a child, I was really shy, really quiet. I give credit to getting a retail job at the age of 14 for bringing me out of my shell. Up until then, I, I was a very quiet child, very shy. I was definitely the sort of person who, like, wouldn't want to make a scene ever wouldn't want to have to ask for anything ever like I you know I would rather just suffer in silence than talk uh, but now I am so the opposite of that I am really outgoing um probably to a fault like I definitely take after my mum she's very much the same but yeah I am pretty bold now <laughs> Rachel says uh, that you work in a managerial role I don't I am menial staff. I don't manage anyone. <laughs> I am the bottom of the food chain. Uh, not that my food chain is 
very long to be honest because my boss is like one of the top dogs in the company and I'm directly under him it's just that I don't have lots of managers in the way but no I don't manage anybody. Katrina the bookworm has said you can rock any hair colour. Uh, mm, I've never gone black. I quite like blue, I like my purple, I like pink. Um, Blonde by itself I didn't like too much. I wouldn't say I rocked that and I've never tried black but I'm pretty comfortable with all of the bold colours so um, if you think I can rock it then thank you. Uh, here we go, you're a cat person. No, I'm a dog person. You do not dream of having a massive library at home, just a few books you really love. I wouldn't say a massive library but I definitely want a room dedicated to books which I mean could count as a library. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I just want a few I love. I like having the choice, I like having the show piece I suppose, like it's a talking point. I like having books that I can lend to people. I know a lot of people get funny about lending their books out, I'm so not like that. If I can encourage someone else to read I will. So yeah I like having the library option I suppose. You love hot cocoa? I do. Sorry these are a lot but I'm curious. That wasn't a lot, you're alright. Kate Crowley said you were dress coded at least twice in school, so dress coded means pulled up on the dress code I assume. Um, not dress coded but hair coded which leads us back to the I was the girl that got pulled into the head teacher's office for having inappropriate hair colours at school. But here we are. Uh, and more than twice on that one, yeah. But never for my clothes, I was a model student other than my hair. Myra has said you seem like you'd be the type of person to not like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I have nothing against mint chocolate chip ice cream. I like it plenty enough. I do not like strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream is gross. But mint chocolate chip I like. I am gonna butcher this name and I'm really sorry because I know you will be watching. <laughs> Prisawis and her books? Prisawis? 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 Sorry. <laughs> She said, um, you have high standards for yourself. Absolutely, I hold myself to high standards all of the time. I set myself ridiculous goals and then beat myself up when I don't achieve them. But what's new? Aren't we all overachievers just a little bit, at least with ourselves? And I know I shouldn't put that much pressure on myself, but I do. It's just the sort of person I am. I do beat myself up when I don't achieve the things I want to achieve. Um, but I do also accept that there are some things in life that are inevitable, I suppose. Like, I can't change some things and if they get in the way of the standards that I'm holding myself to and other things, then that's fine. But yes would be the main answer there. Yes, I do hold myself to pretty high standards. People don't often cross the line with you, but when they do, they have a problem. Do I give off that vibe that when people just piss me off, I'm done? <laughs> um, because, yeah. Yeah. I, th I feel like I've already covered that one. <laughs> you love soccer? Uh, not really. I watch it with Jake. Um, he's into it. Um, I support the team I'm supposed to support, but I don't love it. Uh, Chikorita is your favourite Pokemon. No way Charmander is my favourite Pokemon. Charmander will always be my favourite Pokemon. Charmander is the best Pokemon. Uh, you're obsessed with nachos. I don't like nachos with cheese but I do like them with salsa a lot. Um, I don't know if obsessed is quite right. Most people have nachos with cheese don't they but I don't like cheese at all in any capacity. Ugh. But salted nachos with salsa. Yes. Amanda has said, I don't know if it's a true assumption, but I assume you're a cool person and would make an awesome friend. Thank you. I can't vouch for that myself. I personally think I'm a terrible friend because I forget to check up on people. I forget to talk to people uh, because I'm very, like, very content in my own company and I sometimes forget that other people aren't like that. So sometimes I I, I go too long without checking up on my friends but then when they do like pop up and be like hey where have you been I I am then like oh shit sorry I haven't spoken to you in like two months how's it going <laughs> um so I don't know if I'd make a good friend but it depends on like what standard you hold your friends to I'm very much the sort of person like if we're friends we're friends we don't need to chat every day for that to be a friendship. Like you can have a friend that you only speak to a few times a year 
and you're still friends. Like, you know, I like people have lives that they need to get on with. I feel like I made that too deep. Thank you, essentially. Um, and one more one on Twitter. You hate Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you're obsessed with dogs. I am obsessed with dogs. That is completely accurate. Um, I have nothing against Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but I've also never, like, liked Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so there's that. Not that I disliked it, I've just never been into it. Like, it's never something that I've actively watched or consumed in any way. I just have never. <laughs> so I don't hate it, I just don't like it either. Uh, but they're all the ones from Twitter, so let's move on to Instagram. Becca1573 has said, you've been with your boyfriend for a long time, since high school maybe. Uh, we have been together for nearly five years now, which, wow, yeah, a while. Not high school, but college. Renee's books said, deep down, you really want to love Harry Potter. I feel like it would make my life easier if I liked Harry Potter because everyone likes Harry Potter, like you cannot escape it. But other than just convenience, I'm not fussed, like it doesn't really bother me that I don't like it, it's just like with subscription boxes and stuff you get Harry Potter stuff and I'm just like, hey, nope. <laughs> uh, so for convenience sake it would be nice but I just, I just don't, I'm sorry. Beck from Bex and Books has said, one day you wish to hang out with your favourite Australian. I do, yes, that is accurate. Uh, Lost Majka said, you are shy and quiet. Again, I think I've covered this up until the age of like 14, 15, I was. Now, no, not at all. I'm really bold and outspoken now. The Critiques of a Fangirl said, you're very organised. I like to think so. I have, you know, folders for things. I try and be organised. Um, I obviously have my Clever Fox planner, so I am a bit of a planner. Um, my work email inbox is organised very precisely. <laughs> um, so, yeah, quite, I suppose. Uh, Neverending TBR said, you are not a natural redhead. No, I am not. It is very dyed. I am naturally, well, you can see my eyebrows and my roots. Just a bit of a mousy brown. Not a colour I'm fond of. Elise Bronte fan said that you are conscientious and well organised. Yes. Annis Wiltshire said you don't think your clothing or appearance represents your personality. It can do sometimes. I don't think my Monday to Friday appearance represents my personality because that's my like work personality, which is not my normal personality. But when I've got bright bold hair and wear like my own clothing, potentially, yeah. And they also assumed you don't like to jump to conclusions very much. You like to know info before making a judgment. Yes, I do like to give everything the benefit of the doubt until you've got all of the information that you need, I think. Or at least I try to. Uh, it doesn't seem fair to jump to conclusions when you don't have all of the info that you need. So yeah, I would say I try to do that. Books with Wine said you tend to hide how stressed you really are. Um, if you've been watching my vlogs for the last couple of weeks, I am failing miserably at hiding how stressed I really am. But the last few weeks have been the most stressful time ever. I don't really want to go into why, um, but it's it's been mega stressful lately. But up until then, like if I'm just dealing with casual, casual work stress, then yeah, I tend to just keep that under wraps or I try to, um, and then suddenly it'll really hit me and I'll realise I've been grinding my teeth for three weeks straight and then I get a migraine and I'm like, damn, you should have, like, dealt with your stress before this. Um, but no, lately I've just been mega stressed and have sucked at hiding it, so, um, I try to, but fail. Bookish Sam assumed I was a popular kid in high school. No, mm, I wasn't unpopular. Um, I had my friendship group we stuck together. I hated school, uh, not for the like educational purpose, like I liked that. I did not 
enjoy the social circumstances of school very much at all. I had my friendship group, but I was definitely not happy. So yeah, I wouldn't say I was popular, but I wasn't unpopular. I think I was very much just a go with the flow sort of kid. You deeply love cats. Another person thinking I'm a cat person, and that was uh, Relevi. Sorry if I said that wrong. Um, I am not a cat person. I don't have anything against cats, but I'm not a cat person. Blossoming Reading said, you hate to explain what polar fantasy is at this point. I mean, I have a video on it. If you still don't know what polar fantasy is, I have a video on it somewhere. Um, it just, it, I don't hate explaining it. If you really don't know, I'll tell you. But it's really pretty self-explanatory. It is polar fantasy. Smush them together, little baby. Annie Page said, you're very shy. Love watching your videos, by the way, you're lovely. Thank you. Again, I feel like I've covered this. I was when I was younger. Very much not now. Very bold. I will speak what I want to speak. Andrea RD Books assumed that I would like my boyfriend to participate in my videos. It would be nice, but I don't want him to do something he's not comfortable with doing. He has said that he would do one particular video that I think we will still do at some point. But he really doesn't like being on camera, so even then he would be behind the camera. He does not like being caught on camera. If I've caught him in vlogs, it's been very awkward and something we've laughed about afterwards and like if there's even a slight clip of him in one of my vlogs. He always says before I post it, like, can I watch it? Can I watch it? Can I watch it? Like, he has to watch it over like seven times and make me cut it so that he's just happy with it because he hates being on camera a lot. <laughs> Sash Reads assumed I love punk music. Pop punk is my thing. Um, I don't listen to anything else really, so yes, you are dead right. AJ assumed I like feisty, strong-willed characters. Dude, who doesn't? Yes. Um, and then the last assumption, because I've done this backwards, so this was actually the first assumption I got, was again from AJ saying, I assume you want to hang out and catch up very soon. Always. Yes. <laughs> That's me reacting to assumptions some of you guys had about me. I feel like I got a bit deep in some areas there and potentially exposed more of myself than I have before. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you have anything else you want to know about me. This has kind of made me think I want to do like a Q&A or something. If you're at this point in this video and you've watched this far and you think I should do like a Q&A thing, if there's anything specific you want to ask me or whatever, because I feel like I've given you a bit more of an insight to me than I have done before, then drop your questions down below and I might, I might do one. Who knows? We'll, we'll see what you guys think down there. I'll let you make that decision if you've got to this point in the video because I feel like this has been way too long. Like, it didn't need to be this long. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that. If you have enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. As I say, chat to me down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!